Hi, we're going to graph a combined inequality. I promise you, this is an intermediate algebra level problem. It's leading into a college level problem called linear programming. But this problem itself will not be difficult. Notice it says, graph the system of inequalities, then find the coordinates of the vertex. Let's do the graphing first. I have two inequalities here. So I'm going to take y equals x, which is just the line part of the inequality. I'm going to find two points on that line. I'm going to make an xy table. This really is the fastest way. And typically, whenever you have a line that starts with y equals y all by itself, the easiest way to find points is to substitute numbers in for x and then calculate what y is. So let's see. I'll substitute a 0 and I'll substitute a 5. Those are not special numbers. I could have chosen any numbers. All right, if, since y equals x, whatever x is, y is also going to equal. If x is 0, y is 0. If x is 5, y is 5. And so I have the point 0, 0 and 5, 5. I'm going to plot them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to connect them up and graph the line. Okay, now I go back to the inequality. Y is less than or equal to X. I find um, a test point, which is usually 0, 0. But it cannot be 0, 0 here because notice the line goes through 0, 0. So what am I going to do? How about, well, I can choose any other point. How about the point 2, 0? I'll let that be my test point. All right, the point 2, 0. Now I'll substitute 0 for y and 2 for x. And is it true that 0 is less than 2? Absolutely! I get a true, which means I shade in the true direction. When you have inequalities like this, you shade. So I've taken care of y is less than or equal to x, and now I'm going to look at y is greater than or equal to 2 minus x, and I'll write it with an equal sign over here. Again, the equal sign represents the straight line without the shading. I have to graph the line first. And I'll make an x and a y table. I could throw these in a graphing calculator, but it's just so easy to do it this way. Again, I have y all by itself on the left, so I can just substitute various numbers for, um, for x. So let's see. Suppose I let x equal 0. Suppose I let x equal 2. If x is 0, then y is going to be 2 minus 0, which is 2. And if x is 2, then y is going to be 2 minus 2, which is 0. Okay, I'm going to graph those two points, 0, 2, and 2, 0. And I will graph the line. Really should have used two different colors. That would have been a lot more fun, but I didn't. 
Okay, now I have to choose a test point. Let's see, let's go back to the original inequality. Y is greater than or equal to two minus X. This time I can use zero, zero because this line, y equals two minus x, does not go through zero, zero. So let's see, if I choose zero, zero, then I'll put a zero in for y and a zero in for x. And that's false because zero is not greater than two. So if zero, zero gives me a false for this line right here, that means I'll shade over here. All right, you can see where the colors overlap. Well, there aren't colors here. But you can see where the lines overlap, where the two shadings, that's a better way to say it, you can see where the shadings overlap. This this is the solution region right here. Now we have to do one more thing. We have to find this point of intersection right here here, the vertex. I have two lines I'm dealing with. The line y equals x and the line y equals 2 minus x. I can use substitution. Since y equals x, I can substitute x for y. So I'll have x equals 2 minus x, and now I'm just going to solve that equation. I'll add x to both sides, so that I'll have 2x equals 2, because the x is 0 out. I have 2x equals 2. I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2, I get x equals 1. Now I'm taking x equals 1 up to either one of these equations. How about y equals x? That'll be the easiest. If x is 1, then I'll take that 1 and put it in for x. And I'll get y equals 1. So our point of intersection is the point 1, 1. And of course, that point of intersection is called the vertex. Okay, I hope this helps make it clear. Bye-bye.